What is up, everybody, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pixelmon. Oh my god, look what I just found. Um, alright, come back here. So, come back, Sparrow. Don't be difficult about this. There you go. So, uh, another boss Pokemon. So, I guess I jinxed it when I said, oh, I never find boss Pokemon. Because now I'm... Holy freaking crap, 71? Or 76. Wow, I clearly cannot count. But, um, Jesus. So, I better level up after this. Um, super effective. Sparrow fainted, and I didn't... Oh, I can't see if I actually gained any experience. I didn't get anything good, though, because only Pokeball is. And, uh, yeah, unless it was, like, a Master Ball, I don't really appreciate it too much. I'm kind of disappointed, not gonna lie. So, Jolteon, actually, oh, did did he level up? No, he didn't. Okay, that's unfortunate. But what I do want to do in today's episode is actually level up none other than the one, the only, the famous... Not Golbat. Shieldon! Yeah, I forgot his name. That's awkward. But, um, yeah, so that's what I want to do in today's episode. I do want to get a, um, what's its evolution? Oh, God, uh, Bastidon. I think that's how you say it. Yeah, ba best Diodon. So I do want to get one of them, as it is a pretty awesome Pokemon, and it looks like just tons and tons of fun. I don't know what, if it has a spot in this team, but maybe in another team. I don't really know. So take it. Whoa, that's a really good move. Full body charging. Um, taunt. Taunt did an enrage that allows it to use only attack, move, only attack moves for three turns. Um, I guess I got rid of Metal Sound. And 16. So, um, yeah, I don't know. What I should be doing, though, is giving the lucky egg to Mr. Shield on there, as he does need it more than anyone else. So what I'm going to do really fast is warp to that place I uh, set up previously. I think that's where it is. Warp ML. Let's see if this works. It didn't. Um, okay. Oh, whoa. Oh, wait, no, this is the mod lounge. Damn it. The wrong place. See, I, I remembered setting up the warp, but I forgot where it was, so, uh, yeah, so I guess for the time being, we can just, uh, go battle. Let's do it the old-fashioned way, and, um, try it this way, or just, you know, go wander around and find Pokemon that are higher level than mine, and we can battle them, and hopefully we are victorious in the end. But, uh, again, so I am in, um, my favorite town in the world, which is Legend Town, aka Strums Town, and also, some of you are having problems connecting that is a pixelmon glitch and the only way for me to fix it is delete your pixelmon file which involves losing all of your pokemon unfortunately there's not much i could really do to solve it as it's out of my control honestly it's a glitch from pixelmon as i said so i don't know um what to really tell most of you unfortunately as but uh, that is the result and oh that's actually a cool pokeball that's in i didn't realize it was in that so let's see let's uh, let's actually try and battle him and oh yeah we're gonna totally lose this i just realized how uh low level we are in comparison actually wasn't very effective okay that did no damage so we're gonna switch to you're a normal type we don't really have anything super duper effective against you so let's go venusaur just to mix things up and uh, venusaur is just a fun pokemon Lapras is probably my favorite on this team, though, and so let's do a Poison Powder, just for kicks. It missed, okay, so I guess that really doesn't matter, and let's try a Poison Powder yet again, and hopefully this time it actually... Okay, Poison Powder, you're gonna cooperate, or are we just gonna be Mr. Difficult today? Poison pa thank you. He has been poisoned, and hurt by poison, now let's use a Vino Shock, which should do nice amount of damage, there you go, beautiful, and level 17, so all that for one level. The things you do for things these days, that didn't make much sense, but who cares? So, let's go battle this Golbat in the good old days, and I am going to send out Jolteon as... Oh, god damn it, you confused me, you son of a gun. So, let's do a... Um, okay, we're going to just hurt ourselves. Just kidding, we're not actually going to do anything productive, because that would be counterproductive in hindsight. So, he's going to use Wing Attack. I'm going to use... It is a guy, right? And there's an Arbok. I'm not actually battling the Arbok, though. Snaps out of confusion. Thank you. So, let's actually try and use the Thunder Fang now. Thank you. Super effective. Beautiful. Let's try Thunder Fang. Yeah. That's the ice cream, man. I want ice cream. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. What kind of ice cream man doesn't stop when he sees people trying to get ice cream? Like, isn't that your job, dude? Like, come on. But, yeah, he didn't stop, unfortunately. So I'm gonna hit O just so I can monitor Shieldon's level. And I do know Shieldon does level up at none other than... Uh... Crap, I forgot what level it is. It's really awkward. Um, 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 um
Wait, why uh, 30? Yeah, I knew that. Why am I, why am I struggling with that? That was weird. So what I'm going to do is trade out Arcanine. I'm going to put him back in my inventory thingy over here. And I will take out none other than the celebrity, the one, the only Lapras. Because, um, I don't know, I think Lapras is just way better than Arcanine. Arcanine kind of sucks in my opinion. I do want to replace him, as I've said in the past. Plus, we could do slash spawn and um, just go to town. So let's do slash spawn. And we'll go options, multiplayer settings. Commands hidden. So we can run back out here. And yeah, oh, so look, someone actually is battling. So that's kind of cool. I like seeing battles. Uh, it's always fun. So you can go to Lapras now. And Lapras has tons and tons of health. I love that aspect of him. Her, him? Yes, not her. I always want to say her for some reason. So we'll use a Ice Beam. And it should be a nice one hit KO. Beautiful. So Iron Defense. User hardens the surface. Iron Sharply raising its defense stat. I guess that is better than Taunt, right? I imagine so. So let's recall Lapras as I don't want anyone randomly battling me as that's never fun. So we have a Venusaur from Puppy Slime. And um, hey, we could watch this. I mean, just for kicks. I don't actually know who's battling Venusaur. But um, okay, so now Celtic has sent out a his Skittles, which we have battled this Pokemon before. And that is quite the tiny Blastoise, actually. That might even be a Pygmy, um, as far as I'm concerned. And there's a Dragonite over there in the background, but, um, oh, and a Raichu as well. So it looks like that is who is in the battle. So what is Raichu and Blastoise? Raichu should have the clear victory on this Blastoise here. I mean, using th things such as Thunderbolt, uh, th Thunder Shock. Thunder Fang, even. I mean, all of those are pretty solid moves, but with the Flygon, a Flygon, um, it could really go either way. I don't think either Pokemon. I think the Flygon may have a slight edge, just having way more damage than, um, the Raichu, and the Raichu is not a direct counter or anything like that. So the Flygon does look like it is, is victorious here, and let's see. So let's see what Celtic will, or what Puppy Slime wants to follow this up with. I don't really know what his lineup is. I don't remember off the top of my head as I fall in a little bowl. So now he sends out the Gyarados. Let's see. What level is the Gyarados here? Can I fly there? No, I cannot. Um, so the Gyarados is a level 43. I don't know. Can the level 43 Gyarados truly take on the level 53 Flygon? I think not as Flygon can even have the potential to learn some electric moves. So if it does know that, I think Puppy Slime is in for some deep trouble right now as it looks like his Pokemon are dwindling while Celtic's Pokemon are just really striving. So let's see what will be followed up with from the Flygon, as it actually looks like the Gyarados may have just taken him out, which is pretty astonishing, as I just really didn't see that one coming at all. So let's see. Any day now. No rush. No rush at all. As I, uh, who, with this intense commentary, continues. Da -na 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 -na. So it looks like it is still just Gyarados and um, waiting for whatever opponent challenges him. I don't really see anybody, so we're going to run away now. We, oh, no. Ooh, so we got an epic, um, a nice little battle heal between a Nidoking. So I haven't actually seen one of those in a level 80 Nidoking. I think that is going to be pretty much unstoppable. I mean, I don't see anything that could really... And there's a Charizard. I don't see it. Yeah, I don't see much that could really just jump in and save him from this. I mean, Puppy Slime looks pretty spent. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure there's any anything that can recover. The Blastoise is done, and that is a ridiculously high level Nidoking. That's crazy. Level 80. That's, you know. Oh, and so sending back out the Flygon, but just Flygon with a, what is it, a 20, 30 something, 32, I believe, or 37, I mean, uh, rather, level, or 27? Yeah, I don't know how to do math, sorry. And, yeah, so I think Nidoking will take the victory. I am giving it to him, and I'm going to uh, walk away and go continue tra training up Shield on as it is time for that. So let's go, um, oh, I always forget where Lapras is. I'm not used to it being in that spot. Magnitude of 9, Jesus, good thing Lapras is tanky. So, piece of magnitude of 9 is actually really, really high, so level 20 and we can recall lapras and so 10 more levels to go i mean there obviously are better spots to do this like when we were down in that little cavern oh alakazam i accidentally sent you out and all right so let's go lapras uh, did, did it just faint are you joking ice beam again so yeah we should probably just be able to ice way ice wave our beam to victory and how did he faint it's one of those stupid glitches again god dang it pixelmon and also as i say that whoa Whoa. Building. Giant building. 
but as I do say, god dang it, Pixelmon, I do want to mention something. I do want to start another Let's Play, so I, there are some mods I'm considering, but I would love to hear you guys' feedback. Tell me in the comments below this video, or tell me on the forums, as there is a forum thread, and jsgaming.com, in case you don't know, shameless plug of my own forum, but yeah, so I am advertising, or I am looking to start another Let's Play. It's not going to be replacing Pixelmon, and it's not going to be replacing Fossils. I am still planning on doing both of those, but just a third one to, uh, you know, enjoy it. So, just tell me what you guys want to see. I'm really curious. I want to do, like, another single mod, and I, I, I'm not going to make a server for this one, as I'm just overwhelmed with the whole server thing right now, and uh, I, I need more moderators, and before, and I don't want to make another server before that, so maybe, if anything, I'll have, like, a small private server, if anything, but, oh, crap, I screwed that up. So let's go shield on shield on you could totally take a hit from this sand slash he's a scrub fury cutter see it wasn't very effective so let's go back to lapras now who should be able to rape face and here actually was that did alakazam maybe die from one of those one hit ko moves maybe i don't uh i don't think he did though so sand slash fainted and shield on did not level up unfortunately so what i think i'm gonna do is take the cheesy way out and go back to that little mine there actually no one's on that i could tp to so, uh, here, I'll go find a better place to level up, maybe. Actually, no. No, we're gonna stay original and true to this. So, shield on, come on, bruddy. Bruddy? Buddy. As, uh, we- I'm gonna go train you the good old-fashioned way. So, uh, let's see if there are any Pokemon over here. Let's go try and take out one of these Sand Slashes on our very own. And, uh, we don't need the- anyone to hold our hand. Shield on, I believe in you. So, uh, look at that Pokeball. It's a pretty awesome one. So, we can do Iron Defense, which would raise our attack, or defense stat, right off the bat. And, Fury Swipes is gonna do some damage to us, but we should be A-OK. -okay. So, now we can just do a Tackle. Hopefully, this does more damage than I think it will do. It had no effect. Awesome! Okay, this is bad. <laughs> Takedown is our only real um, opportunity now. And Poison Sting, again, having no effect. And I am taking recoil damage from this. That is the only problem here. Sand attack. Oh, God. And the accuracy on takedown is kind of crappy just to begin with. So let's go back for another takedown. Hopefully we do are successful this time. And, okay, stop using that, please. Takedown. I took recoil damage. This is not going to... There's no way I could do this. This, this, this guy is way too tanky and take down it took more all right yeah we're just gonna go with lapras because that's just not happening and poison sting and we could do a okay another poison sting we could do an ice beam and hopefully this will be the ko and there you go so awesome and actually got we got the power power he froze him i don't know how to say it we yeah but we froze him so that is good and yeah so right now he doesn't really know that many good moves um i think that we could change that though as i believe he learns some new moves well he's level 22 already so he's getting pretty up there as far as levels go as it is and we should just use dragonite to fly over there nice and quickly as uh, it just makes things simplified and let's see we have tons of this stuff so i don't think we can, uh, really need that we have tons of apples for food if we need it anyway so Let's fly back out this way, and let's see, Geodude, blah blah blah, we don't care about you Geodude, so let's heal up our Pokemon, I will check uh, when he learns another move, Cerebi.net, um, even though it's not my preferred choice, 24, he learns Swagger, and it forces, the, it, it's actually a pretty good move, so we can teach him Swagger, uh, that is actually probably a t realistic, um, like, I, I'll use that move, it's not just a move that it'll, we'll just know. Um, so, level 33 Graveler, not too bad. I'm going to just send out Lapras for this one, as, uh, I don't want to, uh, I, I, I don't think he's high enough level. I, I'll sit here wasting all the time doing, uh, just battling, rather than actually doing stuff productively. So, you know, no one wants that, and, oh, he got a critical hit also, so that's awesome. That, I thought that was a Pokemon, I got excited, um, or a wild Pokemon. I was like, hallelujah, finally a high-level Pokemon, but it wasn't, unfortunately. And these Gravelers aren't that bad, alright, let's be honest, they are pretty bad, experience-wise. So, let's just try and to, uh, hopefully after these two, we will be able to level up and learn Swagger, which hopefully we'll at least be able to deal a little bit more damage with, and, alright, so we could do Smackdown, oh, that was actually super effect, wow, that actually did lots of damage, so, let's do another Ice Beam, and he has fainted, so we are level 23 now, so come on, Shield on, you got, oh god, this Graveler's only, you know what, we could take this guy on, so let's do a, I, or a Takedown, Rock Polish, Speed was increased, Recoil, okay, it's not even very effective, yeah, we're not gonna let that happen, because that's just, it's gonna take way too long to do that, I don't even know, he's not really, he's a metal type, so what is metal super effective against, I don't really know, off the top of my head, should I know this, probably, so let's see, who else, um, hmm, 
There's a really tiny sand dial right there. Maybe I should go try and capture him just for kicks. Maybe. Maybe one day. Not today, though, because, um, actually, that's a really tiny sand dial as well. So let's see if we can't find anything in the water right here. As sometimes you can find actually some decent level Pokemon. I obviously am not going to battle them from under the water. But hey, we can do a nice little scan. And maybe we'll get one of those crazy throws again. As we did one in one of the past episodes. But I don't actually see anything. So that doesn't help. That doesn't help the odds much. Now does it? And uh, It's really hot. I don't know why I said that. But that's what's on my mind. So hey, let's think out loud, right? Yeah. So, we can go run over this way. Where did that gravel? Oh, I didn't. I lost the graveler for a second, but I found him again, and what? Oh, I was so close. So, let's go back. We'll go to Lapras yet again, and hopefully we could actually learn Swagger now as uh, we got this. And let's see. Ice Beam. And come on, we got this. Go Ice Beam. And no, you didn't level up still. He's closer, at least. Um, oh, there's a Sand Slash. That should give us the experience we need. So let's see, a level 30. It's only a level 30, though. Like, god damn it, Sand Slash. So defense curl on Lapras. And we can do fight, Ice Beam. And hopefully, Ice Beam will be the KO. And, but yes, level 24. So Swagger, the user in. Wait, oh no, it's Accuracy 90. Uh, the user enrages and confuses the target. However, it only sharply raises the target's attack set. That kind of sucks. I didn't realize it was that. Hmm. Who? So we'll do that. And, okay, hello. Um. Alrighty then. So, yes, I think we have to go find a better place to uh, train because this is taking too long. So I will come back when we found that. So I now am back at our casual and usual training spot. So there is actually another person here who, I don't know, I guess he's just training as well. So hopefully we can get shield on up to level 30 and above much rap more rapid here or rapidly. And of course it stops or it starts saving the second I try to send my Pokemon out. That is always joyful, right? Always a good day then so actually oh awesome so you are out now so let's battle you and we can switch out to let's let's train up jolteon a little bit because hey why not and confuse ray jolteon has god damn it you go screw yourself that is kind of mean but it, hey he just confused me that's mean oh look we hit through it no it didn't kill oh my god what is this what just just what what is this all right so level 72 uh, really you didn't level up really wow wow just just wow okay okay i get it i got it all right that was uh, that was a little uh too far there taking that a little bit too far but let's go look for some more gold bats but i figured now that there is two people here this is going to be a lot more difficult i guess you'd say the odds of us finding an actual gold bat probably not as good as they once were as um you know he's obviously going to be battling gold bats as well so i mean it is that dude over there so, let's see if we could find any Golbats. I don't see any right out. They're all Zubats, I feel. Oh, there's another. God damn it, Golbat. Don't initiate the battle. So annoying. So, let's see if we can't gain a few levels from this. Obviously, before we didn't. So, let's try. This time, let's actually try Lapras. Because she, or he, rather, is actually, like, way better than all the other Pokemon I have. Like, even just stats, attack-wise, and defense-wise. So, how close did you get to the next level, dude? Um, alright, so you're really not gaining that much experience, which is kind of disappointing, as, uh, I don't know why that is, I feel like, um, maybe he's just, uh, he has, like, a higher experience cap, maybe because it has something to do with the, being a fossil, but I assume it is in the code that way on purpose, I imagine, hopefully, I mean, I don't know, we'll see. So let's see, let's see, can we find any more Golbats? I do not see any, there's a Blastoise there, that is the other guy, oh, that's the guy, no, that's not his Blastoise, that was, uh, before it battling at Swan, I thought it might have been, but it's not, I know that, because the other dude was a different dude, because I know everything, not really. So let's go battle you, and we can go back to Pokemon, we will switch into Lapras again, who does get the half, oh, he regained energy. Okay, so we can do the, uh, this ice beam and we actually got the freeze on him which is pretty awesome so if we can just find a few more gold bats we can get the victory or not even victory level up so uh, that is pretty awesome and come on where are you gold bats stop hiding so there's tons and tons of zoo bats is he fighting gold bats as well only or is he fighting the zoo bats also i do not know this is also a pretty decent way to get food uh you know just throwing it out there in case you are wondering but hey if i'm here maybe you should leave no i'm joking that's mean but it does make it a little bit more difficult when there are two people here but hey it's a public place what are you gonna do 
Sure, let's see. Um, uh, no, you. I thought you were a Golbat, but you're not. And you're all Zubats as well. Zubats, you could just all go away. I remember when, when I was a low level, I would dread seeing um, them. Oh, yeah, he is battling them all too. Oh, there's a third person. That's why all the Golbats are disappearing. So what I'm going to do is I'll do a little bit of battling off camera, and I will come back. And um, let's see where we are now. I mean, it shouldn't be that bad, as it should probably only honestly be a few levels. But I will get to level like 29 or so, and then uh, we'll try and find a better Pokemon. So I will be back. So this may actually be the last one, as I actually did give the ex experience share to my uh, shield on. I didn't realize that will actually make it... Uh, It'll make it gain experience from all the other Pokemon, so let's see. Oh, no, there's still one more to go. So, yeah, that'll just make it gain experience every time. I didn't realize that's what Experience Share did. So, uh, let's go try and find another um, one. We got one more to go, and then we should be good for the level up, as we are 29 and really, really freaking close to the next level. So, uh, one more Pokemon, and we should be good. I uh, We just gotta find whoever it is. So, that's actually pretty awesome, uh, the Experience Share. I didn't realize it did that, because now it'll do that when I battle trainers which is where i think it'll really come in i just give it to the lowest level and um my pokemon will gain probably ridiculous amounts of experience from that so that's pretty awesome and we don't have to really worry about him fainting or it'll, it'll probably it cuts down times a lot because i could just send out the pokemon i want to battle and uh, not have to deal with all the hassle of sending out someone and switching out and stuff like that so i cannot find a pokemon for the life of me so let's go slash top as wow that's not how you spell slash top at all so let's type slash top and we can go up here in this farm, I guess. And uh, yeah, so let's get out of here now. And oh, you're actually probably perfect. So let's go battle Raticate and who could take it? Let's just go Lapras to simplify things uh, as I don't feel like having a long battle and we can just do a body slam, which would be a nice easy one hit KO and 400. Yes, level 30. So we actually got a shield on. Oh my God, this is awesome. This is uh, the user uh, to print why uh, fronting escape never really was my thing so let's check out bassett on here so what a freaking awesome pokemon that is a really really cool model actually so Bastodon is ours i'm gonna conclude today's episode here i did hope you i do hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you all next time thanks for watching bye